Do you got tickets to the show? What show, you ask? The Gun Show. Yeah! Ooh. He -ha. All here today have we got a story for you. As you know, we are marching through the Bible at rapid pace speed, and we are now getting to the portion called the Kings. Yes. And what's interesting about this particular one is that God had a plan, and God told his people what he wanted, and yet they totally ignored him and did the exact opposite. And it's kind of like a maze. You know, when I was little, I liked mazes. Matter of fact, I still like mazes today. They're kind of fun to do. When you do a maze, the easy ones, okay, those are obvious. But as they get more and more complicated and you have more and more choices, it becomes difficult. And one of the techniques that I would utilize is I would go to the end of the maze and figure out how to get to the beginning because sometimes starting at the end is easier than starting at the beginning. Well, in today's story, God lets them start from the beginning and they kind of get blocked and uh, it's kind of sad. And then eventually they say, okay, God, we're ready for your plan. Um, and it unfolds, which is kind of cool. And you'll hear more about that very soon. The thing that I want to leave you with in this maze is that it's so easy to journey through a maze when you are looking at it from an above perspective. But now picture you're inside the maze and every step you take, you come to a wall. You don't know which way to go. If you go to the right is the dead end down that way. If you go to the left is the dead end down that way. You could make a correct choice and then an incorrect choice and still end up at a dead end. You know, uh, in Oregon, there were lots of cornfield mazes in the fall harvest time of the year. And some of them were really tough. And some of them, I mean, you'd just keep going and you'd hit corner after corner after corner and not know how to get out. And it actually gets a little scary when you can't get out. But the cool thing is, is that trusting God is recognizing that he is looking from above and he knows every step of that maze. He knows what it looks like as he looks down and as you look straight forward. And he gives us direction. How does he give us direction? He gives us direction through his word. And the Bible actually says, your word is a lamp unto my feet. You know, at those mazes, sometimes around Halloween, when it's dark, they would have the maze open and then they would have this people dressed up in scary costumes inside the maze. Imagine that, that would be extremely freaky. So you would definitely want a flashlight a lot brighter than your cell phone because those lights are kind of weak and you would really want to know which way to go. So what I need you to do is I need you to sit up straight. I need you to point your nose right to the front and freeze until your teacher tells you what to do next.